In this episode of Winning Through, a family business turns a rocky road into the sweet taste of success. Dara Lee is the epitome of a small business success story. It's now a fourth generation family business with over 1,100 outlets in Australia and expanding sales overseas. Our business started in 1927 when my grandfather uh, had a fruit shop in Manly. However, Australians tended not to eat much fruit in wintertime and so he started making confectionery. The second generation was a rather remarkable bunch of fellows. There was my father and his three brothers. They each had their own individual talents, but the one thing they did have was passion for confectionery. I joined the company as an assistant accountant and I gradually worked my way through the finance department to where I am today as a, an executive director of the company. He believes the appointment of the first non-family CEO in 1997 propelled the business in a new direction. About 15 years ago, my cousin and I looked at the resources within the family and decided that we either go down the path of making it a, a family hobby farm or a serious money-making concern. We chose the latter and that started the, the search for uh, talent from outside. In 2009, Stuart Smith was appointed the new CEO. He brought his own individual style to the business. Stuart is our third um, outside the family CEO and I think I have an excellent relationship with him. With Michael is a great help because Michael represents the family interests really well. If I understand what the family is, is looking for, uh, then that helps me do my job more effectively and equally so I'm able to converse with Michael around some of the things that we may need to develop and do differently in the future uh, that the family may uh, have done differently in the past. Stuart has been keen to develop and implement a more formal business plan and marketing strategy. As time goes on, members of the family accept an outside CEO much more strongly than they did when we first started the experiment. It's about keeping uh, abreast of changing times. It's about respecting the past and making sure that we incorporate that and evolve the brand rather than just dramatically change it. But also at the same time making sure that younger folk um, are able to relate to it and want to come in there and enjoy it, tell their friends about it. The business has worked through its share of hurdles. The worst moment in my career so far has probably been the time of the fire in 1980. To see my father standing on the block, watching the flames jump out of the building and with tears running down his eyes. At least I was able to help him because insurance was my responsibility and I was able to say, Dad, don't worry, the insurances are in place and we'll rebuild. Licensing has reaped many rewards for the business. Their presence in newsagents and chemists allows for the brand to reach more people without the overheads. We've got some hundred stores uh, around the country, but you could appreciate that that coverage is just not big enough. And the licensed model was a very good way of us being able to take our Daryl Lee offer, which is a whole range of products, and try and choose the best sellers and get them to closer proximity to our shoppers. I think Darrell Lee is a business with enormous potential and to that point we needed to make sure that we know where we're going to grow and how we're going to grow and also how we're going to become more cost efficient and effective and how we're going to best utilise our capital that's available to us as well. Knowing when the company needed to be taken to the next level was a huge turning point for the family. Inviting trusted professionals into the company has seen profits increase and a new export market open up, thereby securing the company's long-term future. We started exporting under the brand name Darrell Lee about six years ago, and it was uh, only licorice that we were uh, exporting. We started the soft-eating licorice phenomenon that uh, uh, went around the world. Providing traditional and modern products and first-class service keeps the customers coming back for more. 